Join me on the blank canvas at our new day and time. Mondays at 7 p.m., the NAGV, the National Guard of the Bahamas, brings to you the blank canvas, the show where we discuss culture, visual art, and the creative community. Every Monday at 7 p.m., right here on 96.9 Guardian Talk Radio, where there is fresh news and smart talk all day. You've asked for it, and so I am back. Kendony Campbell Moss with Kenny's Corner. Let's talk about everything that makes your heart jump and makes you want to tingle. The radios are going to be set an absolute blaze. Tuesday, 6.30, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Kenny's Corner, ladies and gentlemen. Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Tuesdays at 6.30. Hi, I'm Dr. Gregory Pinto. Join me every Wednesday for The Urologist Speaks, a brand new talk show here on Guardian Radio. Each week, my co-host Julian Reed and I will be discussing an array of health topics related to men, women, and children, such as men always being able to rise again and women regaining control of their bladder and many, many more. The Urologist Speaks, Wednesdays from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. here on Guardian Radio 96.9. Come and join us every Wednesday night from 7.30 to 9 o'clock at Guardian Radio 96.9. Voices of the Diaspora presents two shows, Straight Talk and People's Voice, with Robertson Gironi and Aveje Exumi. We educate, inform, and transform. Be sure to listen to Voices of the Diaspora from 7.30 to 9 p.m. every Wednesday on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. <laughs> Shak Mekredi, c'était et demi à 9 p.m. Shak Mekredi, c'était et demi à 9 p.m. En bas banye, voix diaspora, nan, radio, gardien, 96.9, voix jouen, Robert son Dieu donné, avec un vendier exprimé. Nap, gen, un seul émission avec des segments. Parle carré, avec voix pep. Une fois encore, vingt-jeunes nous chaque mercredi pour nous éduquer, informer et transformer un peuple, un pays. I'm Leonard Sands. And I'm Debbie Deal. And you know us from the Contractors Association. We're excited to talk about our new show coming to Guardian Radio called Nailed It. We are going to be on Thursday nights between 6.30 and 7.30. So we are very happy to invite everyone to listen into our shows as we talk about construction, design-related things also. If you are a subcontractor, if you're planning on building a home or renovating, you need to be a part of this show and tune in. Nailed It. Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. right here on Guardian Radio 96.9. This is your host, Valentino Brown, Inside the Inner City. Join us as we continue to tell our stories, challenges, talk about the history, and share our hopes and dreams. Tune into Inside the Inner City on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. And remember, the place in which I fit will not exist until I make it. This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation is brought to you by Alive, Bonneville Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, ESC Distributors Limited, Grand Bahama News, Hellsbury Chambers, Popeyes, Printmasters, and Ron's Electric Motors. The Foundation. The Foundation. Foundation. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect on this beautiful Thursday. It's a rainy day. It's a sunny day. It's too much. My God, it's a beautiful day. Grateful to be in your company, guys. Uh, I rode through, I didn't even know it rained this much last night. I think I rode through um, uh, Pinewood this morning, a little, a little one, two roads in there. And almost three feet of water. Jesus, I, I see. Did it rain this much last night? Somebody says to me, and Carmichael was drenched also. It is crazy, guys. I hope you guys are good out there being able to do all that you do. Make sure you pick up your Guardian newspaper, all the information's in there. And, and like I said, on this day, on a Thursday, we always identify this thing. There's a lot in there in the papers that for, for us to ingest and continue to be able to talk about. But the truth of the matter is, is that on a Thursday, we always identify our loved ones, the ones that passed away in the obituary section, who are no longer with us. And so we always like to say a soft prayer for those. There's a beautiful picture here on the front page of the obituary section. You can pick that up uh, and be able to see exactly what's what. Uh, but as I say this, you know, if you're one of the persons who are dealing with uh, this is sort of a transition in your family, the loss of a loved one, uh, one of the persons, uh, and you're responsible for being able to identify how you can take down your name has changed from your government name into the body, and now you have to deal with this reality, and maybe you've not done this before. I always say, go check out my good, decent people over at Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. They can take very, very, very good care of you. They're professional. They've been doing this for years, so they'd be more than happy to be able to assist you and accommodating you uh, and putting your loved one down. And the character and the personality and the life, the essence of how they live to ensure that we can, uh, you know, capture that even as we've been able to send them home, send them home in, um, in a style of, uh, you know, glory and celebration. So it's important that we be able to do that. Check them out. Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. They're located on Ernest and York Street right there on the southern side of um, the Potosky Dock, right? So on the southern side, right behind that pink plaza right there, you're going to be able to find them. Uh, that's Ernest and York Street. They take very, very, very good care of you. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Check out my good decent friends over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They get everything available for you. When you go down there, there's actually my good friend, Ethric Bo. He'll be able to assist you whether you're looking for a little job and you want to get into insurance or if you're looking for that uh, in-house financing for those SDs and taxis and liveries, those plates that you have, he can take very, very, very good care of you. So check him out. Uh, the number that you can be able to dial, 3411-AFS. That's 3411-AFS. Or you can give them a call, uh, or you can go and check them out, sorry, at uh, number 407 Blue Hill Road South. Number 407 Blue Hill Road South. That's AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. Today we're going to be talking about the MST Rebar with none other than Avery uh, Lightborn, who's going to be in, this, in the house with us today at about the 1 o'clock hour. So when we get there, we're going to dive deeper into that and chop that thing down. And a little later on, I'm gonna to talk to you about what's happening over at Coco Plum Bistro. Coco Plum Bistro, I'm sure Chantel's gonna be coming in the studio with us real soon to talk to us about those things. But today, uh, we're climbing, cre uh, we're creeping closer and closer and closer to world, to international, i sure I don't have it right, but this is World Cleanup Day. And in the studio with me is a very good friend I haven't seen him in a very long time. I'm grateful that he's here with me today to kind of talk about these things and let us know what's happening with World Cleanup Day. None other, ladies and gentlemen, none other than Konkale Konkala. My brother, what's happening with you? Any cool hour. Man, it's good to see you. Man, it's good to see you too, man. I see you in Loa. You've been doing this thing. Uh, now, I've been following you even from I was in Grand Bahama for years. Your agitation about what was happening in the communities. Your, I could remember you saying, man, come on, man, these things got to clean up, man. You got to move these things. And then you start to make your little movement and do it. I was following you for a long time. Long time. 12 long years. Long time. 12, 12 years. I've been in the, 12 years. That's how long I've been in Nassau. Yeah, 12 years. 12 years I've been in Nassau. I think yeah. I saw this yeah. from in Grand Bahama with your agitation. And you say, man, come on, man. Somebody got to do, be able to do something about these things, man. These old car and this and that and the next thing. Tell me about this journey. It's a transition, Howard. You know, I live in Grand Bahama for 17 years. Mm -hmm. Several day long, yes, and you know, grandma at the time. Hold on. I didn't know you live in grandma. Yeah, man, I had a conk stand on conk, on grandma. Oh, Jesus, yes, Conkale, you did. Conkala on Queen's Highway, bro. Where you think I get a name from? Conkale, Conkala. That's about a sick. I, I, okay, yeah, good, man. Good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And, and why you think I trademark yes. and copyright the name? Yes. Yeah. Conkale, Conkala. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, when I when I moved back to the Nassau, it was like. Night and day. And I keep asking my family members them, what's going on? They would say, 
Oh, don't say nothing. No, don't say nothing. I say, what you talking about? Don't say nothing. I know you go. Don't say nothing. And like everybody who I speak to, I ask, what's going on? And I saw this. Everybody like, man, don't say nothing. And, and after I started to work over the Paris Island, uh, at the Reef Atlantis, I started to meet a lot of people. A lot of people want to come and hang out with me, home, where I live and everything. And I, I was pretty much embarrassed, you know, because every time you're driving past this place, derelict vehicle, garbage, derelict vehicle, derelict vehicle, you know. Then I, I started to build a home. I started to build this home, the, the whole corner where I was living, where I was building, actually had a, a dump spot and there's cars all over the place. And I started going to the Department of Environmental Health, ask them to help. And after people, like, like any time you go there and you, you ask them to help you, it's like no help. So I just get mad one day, and I say, I start documenting everything. And that's when it all start. I start documenting because I wanted, I wanted proof of what I said was the truth. So I start documenting stuff and start agitating for my corner to get cleaned up. You know, at that time, uh, Ken Dorsett was actually the minister at that time. When all the posts start going, all, going out and everything, Ken Dorsett, he, he contacted me and said, listen, I'm going to move that. And at that time, Jerome Fitzgerald actually was the MP in that particular area. This marathon then? This, this, this is the marathon constituency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Poland Division number eight, you know. Mm -hmm. And after they saw all these things start going on, then they, they went and they cleared up the whole block. They cleaned the whole block up and everything. And that's when I start really going wrong and start checking. And people start calling me, start calling me. And some people internationally saw what I was doing. And because when I was doing this thing so long, they contacted me. They wanted to see me on a Zoom call. So it was, it was, it was me, this lady named Cheryl, and a lady named Dion. But they used, actually used my, my cell phone to call them. They wanted to actually see us physically because they wanted us to join up with them internationally. So I talked to them. They said, listen, man, you like what you do in the Bahamas? Come down to Panama. It's crazy. You didn't know that that was going that far. No, I, 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 never, I, ne I, never, I never dreamed this. I said, come down to Panama. We won't put you inside a Is that a where I saw you? The, that's where you was. You was in Panama. No, it was a couple of places I've been, you know. They tell me, say, was it not Ireland or someplace up north? It was the cold someplace I see you. Estonia. 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 I know. I see you. What the hell? Come all the way up here. <laughs> yeah, Estonia. Traveling. So they, 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 what they, what they did is they, they asked us to come down there to, to do a, a leadership academy because they wanted to enroll different countries into their program. And this was separate and apart from anything in government. This was just this, 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 we spent our own money. We did everything ourselves. We went down there, we got, we got, we got our certificates to be a part of this big organization. And they deem us leader, leaders of our country. That means they're not listening to nobody, but they're leaders. If they leaders say something, that's who they're listening to. Wow. Because we have, we have the documents. And see, when they, when they sit us down inside classes inside uh, Panama, they taught us everything about waste management. They let us know how dangerous it is too, because everybody know garbage is what? Big money. So mm. a lot of people don't know that. Garbage is a billion dollars industry. Mm. So they let us know everything. Now you get involved with this, I want you to know what you're going to get involved with. These are the stakes which you got to learn. These are what not to do, this is what not to do, this is what to do, because they know how serious it could get. So they, they give us all the guidelines, and afterwards they, 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 they unleash us. And you still keep up with this stuff? With them? Yeah. I talk to them all the time. Yeah. I actually, I could actually, the president, the president of our organization, I could pick up the phone and call her. And she'll, she'll, she'll answer, she'll so, talk to so, me. So uh, is it a grouping? Is you, uh, is you and Dion and another lady you said? No, that, no. who started it? Yeah. Who started it was, it was, it was actually Bedley Higgs, mm -hmm. who's, who, who's in, in race management. Mm -hmm. Bedley Higgs, Dion Seymour Cox, and a lady named Cheryl Barr. It was all of us who went there and got our, our certificates to become leaders of this region. Mm -hmm. But at this present time, only me really taking on the, 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 the mantle because Dion passed away. 
Dion passed away. Yeah, Dion Seymour Cox. So, so how is this grouping? Are you certified? Are you identified by this international organization? Yes. How does it work? Is it are you as an individual or is it a group? What 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 they actually does is they every country when they when they give you the mantle, they allow you because every country is different, every culture is different, and they want you to structure yourself into NGOs so you can actually get funding with government and you government So funding. you have that structure. You've done that already. It's, it's, it's a little difficult because you know how this money situation go? <laughs> I know how the money situation goes. How the money situation goes. Go. And know. you have to find people who are actually truly interested in doing their work. Because when people hear about NGOs, they always think that, oh, we getting paid. NGOs don't get paid. You're doing the work. You know, most people, they want to get paid. They ain't doing nothing for free. Yeah, yeah. You understand But you've been doing this out of your pocket, doing this out of the love of yeah, your heart. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent... More than a decade now. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been spending my own money traveling, doing everything. Mm. I would, listen. And your wife still with you. Because <laughs> you know when you start spending your wife money, my God, you got to go, right? I would. <laughs> but this is a wonderful thing, man. I, I would. This is a passionate thing this is, of yours. This, listen... You know I know we special. Let me tell you how I know we special. When this little small little rock called the Bahamas, when you jump on the plane and you go and you walk around and talk with them people who they call themselves first world countries, right? Mm-hmm. And you doing things and everybody in the first world country want to talk to the person in the third world country. And they want the person in the third world country to be leading the chart. Mm-hmm. What that tells you about the Bahamas? That's heavy. And this is this is this is this is this is not no joke. I actually have people call me in to make videos for them. Videos. Yeah. This, this, this. I pick my people who I who I've known. They'll hit me up concretely. I, I want you to do a video. Bop, 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 bop. They send whatever documents, whatever. I do the voiceover and everything. Made the video. Send it to them. They say, "Oh man, you so awesome. Thank you, man. Boom. Yeah. I seen your voiceover stuff that you've been doing." You got a lot of passion for this and a lot of time to be doing this. Because I look at that and I say, man, listen to me. Howard, it got to start with us. It, it, listen to me. And you know what? I got to commend you for this because someone needs to be inspired to do something out of the love of their heart, to, to have a passion for it in our community. Everything should not be driven by money. And I can be, I can be a testament for what I've been seeing from you, how I've been following you and keeping up with what you've been doing. You've been consistent, and I've watched you grow your technology. You use, uh, I watch your stuff change. <laughs> I, I tell you, Conklin, you, you know, didn't notice. No, no, no. I, but no, I've no. watched you. I, 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 see, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing, but I had to learn. I was watching you not know what you was doing. Yeah. I, I was enjoying it, though. Yeah, you know, and I, 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 I perfected my craft. I'm making music now. You seen that too, right? I, I see that. Of course, I see that. Song. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing. I know why you didn't bring one of your songs I can play for you. Man, I, I, they they all over the place. Okay. I have I have songs. I'm making music. I'm doing a lot of different stuff. But the real deal is, I love to see what I get involved with people and watch them light up. I like this. So tell me this, Sonat. T- talk to me about what's happening with uh, International World Cleanup Day. Internationally, right now, we actually have 198 countries now is already on board. There's one particular lady who mobilized over a million persons in her country. Uh, Our aim is to get 5% of the population of the world cleaning up the the world so the world could be clean. That's, 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 That's our aim in Egypt. 5% 5% of the population that's of the country. That's 400 million people. That's, that's our aim for the world. Every leader in the region is responsible to try and get 5% of the population in their country involved with World Cleanup Day. And that happens, you have a clean planet. That is our, that is our main goal. But for some strange reason, uh, because of how the system is set up in our country, people feel like I shouldn't do nothing. I shouldn't work. I, I, that's somebody else's responsibility. I don't get paid for that. I, I ain't getting paid for that. Who can give me that? 
do that for what? I put the couch in the you bush crazy? and I must what? go move it. Man, I, I do that. I do that. But yeah, I move on that. That ain't my fridge. That ain't my, that ain't my problem. In the bush. Yeah. This is the mindset that's happening in our that's society. The, that is the mindset that you have to deal with. But what, I, what I've learned, Howard, no, no joke. I've seen people transform. I'm seeing areas where you clean, stay clean. The program yeah, because, is working. Yeah, because you put your time and effort in that, and anybody try to drop, you know, something that, that's literally a principle. Let me tell you what the principle is. The principle associated with it is, is that once people become an owner of the environment, they can police it. Yes. Once yes. they become an owner of the environment, yes. they feel like it's a part of me. It's my environment. Now they call in their MP and say, okay, ain't nobody come cut this grass yet? Yeah. I'm telling you. Yes. That's just going to happen. They, say, they, they see somebody drop it. Hey, don't drop that here. We don't do that around here. Right. right. That's what happens. Yes. And I, I've, I've seen it happen. There's a particular area that the coordinator, his name is Mr. Lenroy Roll, our very first work clear day, he went in that particular area and he cleaned that area. And guess what? That area is clean today. Tell me about World Cleanup Day this year now. Tell me about the times, the dates, the volunteers that you tomorrow, need to come to, out. Tomorrow, you're going to have Atlantis. Atlantis is having a, a, a coastal cleanup tomorrow uh, in the South Beach area. Uh, there was somebody that I was talking to inside the Chippenham area. It's supposed to be having a particular cleanup in that particular area, but I haven't speak to her again to find out how many people in her crew. But I, I did get the location and everything. But this year, we're focusing on, on, on Fox Hill area. We're going in the Fox Hill area. We, we did the walk around in Fox Hill, uh, right around by the park area. And the people in Fox Hill, they different, man. They different down there. They believe in, in, in togetherness. Man, the people walk and they, they carry on. Give me some more information about this so we can be able to get some persons doing this for you, all right? Uh, so give me a number that persons can be able to assist you right now with. All they got to do is go right online. Go right online. Let's do it. 242 Bahamas. Let's Facebook. Do it. 242 Bahamas. Congole, Congola, I want to thank you so much. Tell me about this. Atlantis helping you all. I'm sure that the Department of Environmental Health. Oh, yeah. Health, I, man, you I, didn't I, say that. Man, the Department I forget of that. Department of Environmental yeah. Health Services. Yeah. And the, the great director, Williams, is going to be assisting you. That's right. That's areas. right. That's right. Oh, 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 hold on. This is the first time the Minister of Environment. The second time, the Minister of Environment, he's involved also. And so, so this is Von Miller. Yeah. Vaughn Miller, Vaughn Miller. The Minister of Environment, yes. is going to be assisting in these areas. I want to commend all those persons from an official capacity being able to assist with this. Let's do it, Bahamas. Uh, let's do it, 242. Let's do it, 242Bahamas.com. No. 242Bahamas. Yeah. 242Bahamas.com. No, no, no. Facebook. Oh, there's Facebook. Facebook. Let's do a 242 Bahamas. Bahamas. Yeah. Uh, right on Facebook. Find out more information. Conkale, I'm going to get your number. If anybody want to be able to volunteer, please be a part of what we're doing. A World Cleanup Day tomorrow. We're going to no, be no, starting. No. It starts just, tomorrow. Start but the, tomorrow. But the, the full effect is on Saturday. Okay, so everybody coming on Saturday. Saturday, it's Saturday. So Saturday. the coastal cleanup is going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take this quick commercial break and be right back after this. Foundation. Popeyes, we put love in our chicken by marinating it for 12 hours. For a limited time, head on over to Popeyes and purchase five pieces of our famous Louisiana bone in chicken for just $10. Give your family a taste of Popeyes without going over budget by adding on a signature side. Popeyes, that crazy price we love. We love that chicken from Popeyes. Great news. Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery charges, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Cowpen Road location can have you up and running on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location on Cowpen Road. Dial 356-0249 or 323 522 
1-800-242-5267. Are you tired of the same old 5K runs? Want something more? Then get ready for the Chick Charney Challenge City Run on September 28th, starting at Crypto Wild. Test your strength, stamina, and spirit. It takes all of you to dodge, climb, conquer obstacles as you race through the heart of the city. Lace up and get to the Chick Charney Challenge City Run. Register now on our website, chickcharneychurn.com, or on our social media pages. Brought to you by Kalina, Island Yogurt, Advantage Insurance, Art of Graphics, Crypto Wild, and Guardian Radio 96.9. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect. We're supposed to be able to have David Williams being able to sit down with us right now and talk to us about what's happening with the International Day, International Men's Day, uh, Men and Boys. This is a march and rally that's going to be going on under the theme of, uh, under the theme, Men Health Champions. It's going to be Sunday, September 29th, 2024. Uh, the march begins at Christie Park at 3 p.m. And for more information, you could be able to give them a call at 803-4423. That's 803-4423. Or hit them up at 422-1367, 422-1367. Just waiting on David Williams to be able to get here and give us a good conversation with that. But that's the information. Uh, we've been doing this for some time now. You know, Terrence had started this when he was here on the station with us. And uh, he's always being able to relent and always have a sort of a good conversation about what needs to happen. Uh, but, you know, he's not here with us anymore. He's actually passed on. But this sort of an idea still persists. It still exists. Uh, Keith Cox, I haven't heard from you. I hope that you go you and your family are doing well in those particular areas. And uh, always like to be able to hear about this push that you guys got going on in this kind of an area. So we'll wait for David and being able to get back to those particular things and talk about that. But as we go forward, I still got Conkale here. So I said, let me talk to Conkale for a little talk, two more seconds. Conkale, put your number out there, let people know for World Cleanup Day. Let's do it, 242 Bahamas, World Cleanup Day. Let's do it, 242 Bahamas. You can be able to find them on Facebook, all the information's out there. You can be able to see exactly what's what. It's World Cleanup Day. It starts tomorrow with Atlantis being able to do some coastal cleanup, but then it goes right on to Saturday. Saturday's the actual day. Talk to me about it. What what Bahamians can actually do? This is what I behave, I want Bahamians to understand. They could this this program right here, they could own it. What I mean, they could own it. They could come together as families, friends, schoolmates, classmates, and they could set up their own little small team. Their own small team, and they could go out there and do it together. Mm -hmm. Have some fun, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And by doing it, they blog it. They blog every day, and they blog how they doing it, how they, how they structure it, and they send it to me. When they send it to me, I will make sure all their blogs, all their information get put on the Facebook page, and I will make sure their stuff go on the international page. So people from all over the world will see this grouping, that grouping, this grouping, that grouping, all of this is just working up there because... The Bahamas is an archipelago. We want people on every last island involved with this program. Yeah. We want yeah. everybody involved with the program. Like I say, we try to get 5% of the population. Now, I, that's, that's no easy feat. That's no easy feat. I, 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 that's the, I, I, that's I, the I amount think it of, is, Watch me. That's the amount of people shy of uh, 50 million or so. No, I, that's the amount of people that live in North America. In, right. in the United States of America, just shy of maybe 40, 50 million people. That's, that's, that is that's the goal. 800 million people. Let's do this. Let's do the numbers. 8.8 8 billion people. I think that's the last number that we saw. 8.8 mm. 8 billion people. 10% of 8.8 8 billion is 880 million. Mm -hmm. Right? That's 10%. Cut that in half. No, 5%. Five, I say 5%. 5%. Five five percent. That's what they say. Yeah. 10% is 880 million. Cut that in half. Mm. You got 440 million people that you need to be able to participate. 
And so you look around the countries, you say you got 198 countries involved. Right. What sort of campaign that you got? Everything, all the campaigns are just local campaigns that you want to be able to get people out, or you have corporate sponsors globally that who, who participating in this? You have people all over participate our one. All over. When I say five percent, it took Estonia ten years before they introduced the program, you know. They wanted to see if the program could work for it before they introduced it internationally. They got their people involved. And after it worked in their country, it did say, wow, if it happens with us, it could happen around the world. And that's why they started looking everywhere, all over the world, to find people who think just like them. And I, would, I know a lady from Indi Indonesia is mobilized over a million people every year. In Indonesia? Yes. She, she mobilized a million people in her country. Wow. One million. That's an easy fix, you know, Howard. I don't know. I mean, okay, so how much people do you I, think I don't, I don't, I for the Bahamas? I want to commend, commend the Ministry of um, Environment, uh, the Department of Environmental Health Services, yes. and Atlantis. These are two representatives of the largest employers in the country. Yes. Okay? Atlantis and the government, uh, or the, the tourism sector and the government more specifically, are the two largest employers. So when you have them involved, uh, then you can be able to see some forward movement. I'd like to know whether or not uh, has there been any thought given or any conversation had about the possibility of people being able to do community service. Check this out. The Minister of Environment, me and the Minister of Environment, is in talks. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not really saying too much, because I want the Minister of Environment to sit down and say, listen, we're doing this. That's why I'm not really telling people too much. But if the Minister of Environment, if the talks that me and him are doing, if we part of the way we we talking, I'm telling you, it's gonna it's it's gonna work. This this for me, this ain't a difficult thing. This could go against not not the Bahamas. It, it shouldn't be difficult for, for the Bahamas. This no, this ain't difficult. This this could go into the the, the judicial system, and um, persons could be able to identify themselves, being able to render community hours by being able to support something like this, right? Uh, for all those children who graduating from high school that need to be able to have community uh, hours, uh, X amount of community hours served, mm -hmm. right? This should be one of those things that you can be able to participate in and be able to make those things happen. So I'm grateful for this opportunity, grateful to be able to talk like this and be able to chop these things down, my brother. Uh, I want to hear more about this. I know there's a lot of suggestions about how things should happen and where things should be able to go, but I want to hear more about this. And so I said I wanted to be able to keep you for two more seconds Let's do it 242 Bahamas. Let's do 242 Bahamas. Uh, like I said, again, you got to commend Atlantis. You got to commend all those particular persons. Uh, let's take this quick commercial break. Uncle Lee, congratulations to you yeah, for, your, for your decade and some yeah. of commitment. Yeah, man. Let's be able to do those things. Guys, quick break. Be right Appreciate back. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, absolutely, my brother. Quick break. Be right back after this. Foundation. Foundation. Do you have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to make that move to Fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. It's time to upgrade the way you enjoy at-home entertainment. Alive Fiber is here. Enjoy all your favorite channels and streaming apps, all at lightning-fast internet speeds with affordable bundles. And it's only a click away. Visit www.alivefiber.com to sign up now. Stay connected, live your life. It's good to be alive.
The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Want to know more about divorce, personal injury, wills, conferences, and mortgages? Then sign up for Halsbury Chambers' 20th Annual Free Legal Clinic, Saturday, September 28, 2024, Village Road North. Call 393-4551 to reserve your spot today. Space is limited. Lawyers available from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. consultations only. This is a community service event sponsored by Halsbury Chambers. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, Small Business Thursday, right here on Guardian Radio 96.9, the foundation with Howard Grant. Being able to chop these things down, just as being able to talk, good conversation with Conkale. Got to be able to commend him for all those things that he's done. And uh, on this space, uh, we do our best to kind of be able to create opportunities for not only small businesses, but organizations that have been being, being able to make a significant impact in the community. And one such organization is the International Day, Men's Day, which is the Men and Boys March and Rally that's going to be coming up. Now, we've been doing this over the years. Uh, before you see me went off to the break, I want to be able to commend uh, Terrence. Terrence is one of the persons who actually brought this to the forefront yes. and being able to do those things and whatnot. But we see that it's carried on. I, I just called uh, Keith Cox in the name. I see Keith in a little while and being able to commit himself to these things. But I'm hoping that everything is well. And I want to be able to commend you also, David. David, ladies and gentlemen, David Williams is in the studio with me. Also, Shelton Burrows being able to talk to us about what's happening with the men's uh, International Men's Day Men and Boys March and Rally is going to be under the theme Men and Health Champions, uh, Sunday, September 29th, uh, 2024, starts at 3 p.m. Talk to me about it, David. So I just want to say once again, it's, it's a pleasure to be back to Guardian Radio. Thanks very much for the opportunity. And I need to let the public know that um, you support us in the past. So I want that, I wanted out there that you put your money where your mouth is. Right, so All right? Decent, yeah. So I, I just want the public to know that I know you didn't say it, but... I, ladies and gentlemen, I came in the studio and I was talking about it last year. Howard Grant. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. You, you see what he's setting up? You see what he's setting up? No, but I want to tell them. I, I didn't need tell to know. Last time. He tried to put this in my head. Howard, do it again. No, no, not necessarily, but I, I want people God. to know because many times they, we hear about it and, and Apple's going to dress that part. Yeah. The fact that I just came in here, I said it, you put your hand in your pocket, you made a contribution, you said, I believe in what you're doing and I don't only want to help you promote it, I want to support it. So, and that, remember, that was a surprise. That was unexpected. So I just want to publicly, because I realize I, I'd never publicly thank you for it. I appreciate you, man. So I want to publicly thank you for it. But um, what we're having again, it's like our fifth or sixth annual march. Terrence, like you said, was the, um, the key behind it. Keith Cox is still the president. The initial three that met to form International Men's Day Bahamas Committee was myself, Keith, and Terrence. And it has grown since then. So we were the first three, Okay. And it has grown since then. And we've had um, this, I think, our fourth or fifth March. That was in 2018, I think. Yeah, 2018. But, um, or 2019. But anyway, so what we're doing this time under the theme that you mentioned. You was on my show then also. Yes, yes, straight through. That's what I'm saying. You supported us. Yeah. Straight through, you supported us with it. And Terrence has passed, as we know, right? But it has kept on. Keith still remained the president. Where's Keith? Keith, I, I'm, I'm thinking he's working today. Okay, and the good it. thing is, right, like he, he have recognized that Shelton and I as the public relations persons so that he could feel free to, you know, network and do some other things. He's my guy. I ain't seen him in a while. I, I'll, I'll make sure I pass the Tell word on to him. Yeah. So schedule him for next week. All right? I'll pass the word on to him. Schedule him for next week? Yes, that'll be a wonderful so day. So you're doing a lot. You need to stop. Yes, that's, that's public <laughs> relations. That's what we're all about. So Guardian, <laughs> thanks again um, for the opportunity. <laughs> the march is this Sunday coming. It's 3 p.m. Sorry, next week, Sunday, 3 p.m., we leave Christie Park. And I want to all the public thank a number of persons who have supported us. The, 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 the commissioner of police, the defense force commissioner, and 
the um, commissioner of the Department of Corrections, including the, the Defense Force Commissioner, marched with us about two or three years ago, bring, along with his band, and the commission of the Department of Corrections, known as the prison. And of course, the commission of police sent his team the support. So I just want to put it out there, and we're looking forward to their support again. We're asking all large, all sporting organization, um, boys brigade, whatever, as long as you're men and boys, we're inviting you to come out. Be a part of the march for our ladies. We can't forget our ladies. We're saying, come and support us. Have your placards. We, we're going to bring placards. We're going to have a Junkanoo banner leading the way. We're going to have a number of men going to be on the, you know those rolling banners that will be the Junkanoo? So some of our honorees, we want them to sit on the banner as we roll or pull or push them, however we're going to do it. And we're inviting a number of the men organization also. Come out there, bring your drinks, your food, and you can sell them. There's no cost to you. So you, you come out there. You set up your tent or whatever you want to do and sell sell your items. It's at no cost because what we want to do, we want to highlight men and, and boys. And one thing I want to say, because tonight, just before Apple's come in, when they come on Guardian Radio Howard, people always ask me they want to get a part of prison ministries. And so now this is an opportunity, gentlemen. You always ask me about it. Well, today, 6 o'clock, we're having a meeting. We're now starting what we call cell block ministry. That's where we go into the cells. We go to the cells to talk to young men at the prison, the Bahamas Department of Corrections. And so at the William Thompson Church, it's called Faith United Baptist Church on Blue Hill Road South, 6 o'clock. I'm asking you not to meet me there, but beat me there and just give you an opportunity now. You always wanted to get involved in prison ministries. This is an opportunity to come out tonight, be a part of that meeting. We'll get your name down. We'll let you know what are the protocols. And you can use this as an opportunity now to minister to men and boys. I want to turn it over to Apples, okay? So I know you got a few minutes. So so tell me this, man. I hate calling you Apples. You tell me you use Boros. I don't yes. know Apples. Yeah, we call him Apples. Okay, Apples. Yeah. Now tell me this. Uh, where's the march going to be going from Christie Park to where we going? Yeah, yeah right, 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 right back to Christie Park. From from where you go? Uh, we Christie Park onto Nassau Street, onto Ponciana Drive, Blue Hill Road, Meadow Street. Back there, and then we'd have a brief rally, and we have a number of um, singers who will be singing, and a, a, a few people will speak only for like five minutes, but it'd be a musical celebration. We have a number of singers. Who you guys singing? Well, I know some. I don't. I, Pastor Henry Higgins is coordinating that. In the past, we had some people support us, like um, we had Christian Massif, we had Big Bro, we had Peter Runks, we had Barry G. Um, we had Wayne, um, I can't remember Wayne, one day. We, we had a number of persons who have supported us in events like this. So I don't know who all will be the individuals who will be leading out in the concert. But I know Pastor Henry Higgins, who we know is the cultural man, he will be putting together persons who will be singing, as well as a number of boys group and boys band who will be performing. Okay, so that should be good. Yes. So tell me about some of the intricate stuff. How long you've been involved in it and what you've been doing in your capacity? Yeah, uh, my name is Sheldon Boyd. I've been involved in international men's group for now three years, and it's a pleasure. Uh, I remember the late uh, Brother Terrence Bedell would have encouraged me, you know, when it was starting out, you know. And so I came I came by a few years later. I'm um, under the leadership of uh, our president, Mr. Key Cox, uh, who has been doing an excellent job. And so uh, the international um, men's day uh, group have really got my attention when they have the, the prison uh, event where fathers um, are doing Father's Day. When they uh, go to the prison, they feed about 150 inmates and they allow their kids to come down and interact with them. That was a very important um, time in my life and it touched me very much uh, for the week, what they I've been doing, and ever since then, I've made a commitment uh, to become uh, a part of it. And so I serve as one of the public relations officers. This is excellent, man. I want to be able to commend you and all those persons who are volunteering and continue to be able to volunteer because I think uh, we don't give much thought to that it's not necessarily an obligation. Uh, there is no finance involved in these things that we're looking for you to be able to serve from the love of your heart, and it's important that you do that. Dave, give some more information for all those persons who want to necessarily participate, um, you know, as a volunteer in their various capacities. Okay, because I, I know Apple also... Apple also have close, a, close the door right there for me. Also have a, uh, I think he want to give it an account number. He want to just give it in case persons want to support us. Yeah, yeah. So uh, at the prison, at, at the international 
men's group, you know what I mean? We need financial assistance as we continue to help in the boys national school, the prison, and of course, our men and boys inside the nation. Bank account is Bank of the Bahamas, International Men's Day, Bahamas, IMD. Our transit is 0316, is 135-0006371. And so any amount of contribution can help us as we continue to serve and celebrate our male seed, which is the most important seed in the universe. And I, I want to give the number. Um, so for, I know we may have gone fast, but my cell number is 433-6917. You can call it. You can share it. Anybody need to reach me, share it with them. 433-6917 if you want more information. And, and how, why it's so important, Howard, just today, just before I came here, I got a call from someone from a government department. She, she wants me to connect with a gentleman. She said, came to him. T tried three times. This really alarmed me to, 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 to commit suicide. And then she told me another gentleman she reached out to, she sent me the number, say immediately I must call him when I come off the radio, right? So I'm saying there, there are challenges. I got a call from a gentleman who was looking for three young men. I had to, um, he said he wanted them to wake, and he didn't mind whether they were unskilled. So I had to go pick them up um, Tuesday morning. I went and picked them up, took them over Paradise Island. These are some of the things we're doing. International Men's Day Bombers is not just another organization. We are body seeking to bring men's organization together and to share what they're doing. A call after Guardian Radio yesterday. Gentleman came to me from one of the lodges, said his team is coming, they're gonna meet Monday, and they want to see how they can support us in March. So this is what we're seeking to be to do. Be an umbrella organization to bring men organizations together. I like this, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta give David a call 433-6917. 433-6917. All the information is there. Also, if you want to be able to support them, you can check out Bank of the Bahamas, uh, 13 500 6371. 13500 You can be able to assist them. Put a little five, six hundred dollars on that. Make it look good. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, that, that look good. That look yes, good. You get 10 of them now, you did well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you get 10 of them now, oh, you did yeah. well. We, we could do plenty. Let, ladies and gentlemen, good. this is really supporting the boys uh, for their health, mental health, and other things like that. You hear that the uh, director, I'm sorry, the minister of health and wellness indicated that uh, there are almost 400 attempted suicides yes. every single year. That's right. Almost 400 attempted suicides every single year. And just while he was saying that, there was a young lady, uh, was it a young lady, 24 years old, and a young teenage boy. There was someone who was trying to jump off the bridge, wow, wow. and there was a, a young boy who had these particular issues. So we're having a significant rise yes. in persons seeking to be able to end their lives. And uh, whatever the issue is, sometimes it needs someone to be able to talk to. But you, you know, amazingly, you mentioned it during my lifetime, I've had the opportunity to speak with three persons, Right who attempted suicide. They're all alive today. One who has a baby now, when I, when I last saw him, and I can remember the family called me and said, Dave, and we need you to come meet with my son. I said, what happened? So he just tried to kill himself. I went there because I knew the family. I went there. They showed me the, 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 the rope. They showed me the bucket. And they said, the only reason he didn't die is when he kicked the bucket, the bucket didn't move. You know, must he saw the, the rope could have caught him. So he kicked and, and, and it didn't move. That day, I took that gentleman with me. I'll never forget that. I took that gentleman with me, spent the entire day with me because I remember our church, the Adventist churches had a, a, a fear. I took him and he spent the whole day with me. And I said to him after, before I dropped him home, I said, you realize, had you did what you did, had you attempt last night, I said, you would have missed all of this. When I last saw him, his mother said, this, oh, see, um, whatever, you know. So, oh, lucky little girl, that's one. Two, I was on the radio. Yeah, they'll get children too. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he has children now, yeah. Um, Two, a gentleman, I was on a radio program, a gentleman called, say, well, he said he feel like killing himself. Sometimes you don't take him serious. I said, as soon as I come off the radio, I'm coming here to you. When I came to him, me and another friend went, we were able to talk with him, and she and me are no professionals. And then at the end of the day, that gentleman, when I last saw him, he was working for an armored co company. The third one, I remember telling this gentleman, he, he was at Prison Fellowship House. We have a halfway house for men who are incarcerated and need a place to stay. I got a call. I was talking to him, you know, but changing his life. As you know, I'm a Christian. And I talked to him about how Christ is the only way, right? He told me he don't want anything but Jesus. He said he's going to work. That's when they were doing the project in Bimini. I said, man, that's the solution, man. I said, yes, you need a job. But I say, Christ is the answer. The heart needs change. When I got a call again, I got a call. Someone called me and told me, the brother slit his wrist. I dashed to the emergency room of the Princess Margaret Hospital. When he saw me walking there, all he would see, look up. He said, I just give up hope. 
But the, the point is to treat them alive today. So there's hope. You know, maybe somebody might be listening. That's all we want to say. Yes, as men, you go through your hurt and your pain. And by the way, next week, Wednesday, the St. Paul's Church, we have a men's forum. I'm inviting all the men to come out. We're talking about why men are silent. We're talking about blended families. We're talking about a number of issues dealing with men. I'm going to be one of the persons leading out along with the, um, others. That's next Wednesday, 7 o'clock, St. Paul's Baptist Church. We're saying, men, we know you're hurting. You have your challenges. I had mine. I have mine. Still dealing with mine. But at the end of the day, it doesn't stop ministry. I like this, man. I like uh, this kind of a conversation. I want to be able to dive deeper into it. I'm always being able to be open my, be open and open my platform to have good conversations about these things. Guys, you got to be able to call David Williams, 433-6917, 433-6917. And you can get more information about what's happening with the Men's International on Sunday. Let's just shoot it straight. On Sunday... This coming Sunday. Next Sunday. I'm sorry, next uh, Sunday 29th. 29th, right. Sunday 29th, I rush in September. Yes. Sunday 29th, we're going to be able to see this walk, get, find out more information about it, and be able to see exactly what's what I'm sure we can be able to talk about it between here and there and continue to be able to find out more stuff about that. But get yourself prepared to participate in the International uh, Men's Day. Uh, the day of the man. Tell me about the, your theme again. Go ahead. Tell me your theme. I I don't remember off the top of my head. It has something to do with better health for men and boys. Some, okay. Something right. That's because every year is a different theme, and that's the theme on the International Men's Day Bahamas website. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to take this commercial break. I want to thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Boros. Thank you so much, Dave, for being able to come in here and have good conversations with us. We got all your information. All the absolute best. You know that we're open to you. We're going to see more from you guys. Got to, I got to take this quick commercial break, guys. Get the news and be right back after this. This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The Foundation. The Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect. On this beautiful Thursday, continue to be able to chop it down right here on Small Business Thursday, talking about all these things. Now, you know, for some time, we've been having a good conversation about what you can do by being able to go down to Hit Spot for the month of September. You still got a couple more days left. If you got your Japanese vehicle and all you can hear is, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> left door is on, uh, which is Bluetooth. <laughs> If you got that vehicle and you can't hear anything locally and you want to be able to hear, especially what we're doing here on Guardian Radio, you can be able to go down there for $79 and get the expander. Uh, to find out more about it and tell us more about it, we got Paul Fernando in the studio with us. Paul, good afternoon, my brother. What's happening? Good afternoon, Howard, and thank you very much for having me upstairs in this... Upstairs. <laughs> yeah, upstairs. <laughs> and all the lights. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Get five, all these lights on. Seven yes. lights, three cameras. Thank you very much for allowing me to grace your presence. By coming upstairs and talking about the R band extender promotion we're having with Hit Spot. And no, I'm glad that you're doing it because I've been thinking, you know, when he came here to Nassau or you just pop in the vehicle or you're traveling here in Nassau, it's important. All those persons out there, if you got SDs and persons coming from the family violence and whatnot, they want to be able to hear Guardian. You got to put these things in your vehicle. Yes. It's a, you it's a get selling it point. Actually, it's a selling point. It's a selling point. Yes. And it's only $79.99 and it's available all the month of September. We including want, installation. Including installation. And I, I didn't realize how powerful it was until I got it put in. All this time. I You're missing to, out. I used to listen on my phone driving to work sometimes. I realized, but I realized how important it is to have a radio in your car yeah. all the time to get local news, yeah. local weather. 
some good music. And and there's a variety of stations in the Bahamas. Yeah. I mean, we have three right here. It's Guardian Radio, Star FM, and we have our sister station, Hot FM. But you have a lot of other stations you could listen to. You have a classical station. You have a relig- you have some um, stations that just play pure gospel. It's a lot of stuff you could listen to on the radio, and you have to use all your data all the time. Yeah. I didn't realize how important it was until I got, like I say, my barn, ex- barn extender, and, and it, it's so powerful. You know, I'd like to thank the people down there, the hit spot, uh, Mr. Johnson and, and his crew down there at Audio Plus, and the ladies uh, and the gentlemen's, uh, gentlemen at the hit spot. They really did a fantastic job. It was so smooth. Yeah. It took like Less than 10 minutes. It was really? And I, yeah, man, it's a simple process. It's quick like that? Quick like that. You so you can pull in, pay, and get straight right away. And come out, and they, they find, they tune all the stations for you as well. So really? You don't have to do all of that work. You just go, they, they just set. You know what I mean? They set all the That's stations. Excellent. That's excellent. And you got some other things to talk about. Now, every time we see you, you have a good conversation with us about what's happening over there at um, the Government High. It's government high school. No, 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 no. People 16 over always say the government high. Yeah, I 16 over, but I don't have to say the government high school. What well, tell say? your friends, then they need to stop. Right? <laughs> no, that's their <laughs> choice. That's their choice. But if you look at... How it is only one school in the Bahamas is the government high? No, well, let me explain the that. reasoning behind right. that so, you'll, so, so your Go listeners can understand. <laughs> before UB was transformed into UB, before it was, tra- before it was the College of the Bahamas, on the, uh, in the foyer, on top, when you walk into Government High, you would see the Government High School. It was never Government High School. It was always the Government High School. Now, the reasoning behind saying the, because there's a separation. In 1925, Government High was established. In 1976, they moved to the Yellow Valley location. So the persons who went to the Nassau Court and Pontian location referred to themselves as the government high school because it was a process to get into government high at that time. You had to take a common entrance and you had to maintain a standard to stay in government high school. It was not mm. social promotion. So that's why they consider themselves the government it's high school. It's heavy what you say, you say, at that time. At that time, yes. Well, clearly because, there's something changed. Well, you don't have to take a common entrance to get into any high school now. No, you there's just free walk education to yeah. any school and then they, and they socially promote you. Yeah. So regardless of your aptitude... Or your education, or your comprehension, level, or anything. You just keep on moving up until you get a certain age, and then you get a leave. Well, you big. You look like you should be in grade twelve. So that's and they put that. you in grade twelve. So, but, but I mean, like we are probably one of the only Caribbean countries. Like I consider ourselves one of the Caribbean, but we are the only one that don't have a, a, a what they call an elite school. You have private schools, a lot of good private schools in the country, but people down there in Jamaica and kids. Barbados, all of them have a, the government high school. Mm-hmm. It might not be that particular name, but they have a school where you have to take a common entrance and you have to be selected to get into that school. Really? And the government pays for your tuition. As a matter of fact, the common entrance is not just for government high school. Once you take the common entrance and you pass, you could select one of a number of schools. You could have gone to St. John's, you could have gone to St. Augustine's, you could have gone to Prince Will, you could have gone to QC. It's a matter of your choice, but the government will pay for it once you pass the common entrance. Wow. But they don't do that anymore. No, the common entrance ended in 1974. Now, the only thing that I've seen most recently that can be comparison, or give comparison to that, is the common entrance if you can play basketball and people recruit you to Tabernacle School in Grand Bahama. That's a different story, though. I just yeah, want to let you know that. <laughs> the reasoning why I came to talk about <laughs> government is because we're getting ready to host our inaugural Royal Blue Gulf Tournament at the Nine Hole Gulf Course down there on um, the government complex down there on the, what's it called Bahama Boulevard, right across the street from the. Uh, well, it used to be road traffic. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. it's a Nine Hole Gulf Course and it's being supported by the Flowers Foundation and Craig Flowers. He's doing a lot of work with it, and he's one of our sponsors as well. The Flowers Foundation and Everybody Wins. Um, and also, uh, another sponsor is Open Systems with Mr. Peter Bridgewater. And then Mr. Rupert Roberts is also our one, but Super Value Group. He's also a former Common High School student. He's also going to sponsor us. So we're looking forward to this tournament. It's just for juniors. We have 36 juniors playing. And Give they, age brackets, not just... It's from high school, junior high, and we have a number of students from Eva Hilton Primary who will be in the primary division. So there's... Trophies for first and second and third, and it's two trophies 
pro division. Sorry, it's first place, second place, and third place. It's a two-person scramble. So it's team. It's a team event. It's a basketball event, and, and the, the Mr. Flowers has graciously paid for all of them to enter, and so and then Mr. Bridgewater of Open System has bought the trophies, and the winner of the the um, high school division will receive a. Uh, Kadar Clark royal blue jer- um, jacket similar to the one they would give in the Masters so we will be looking forward to this tournament on the 5th and 6th and like I said this is our inaugural one we'd like to thank Mr. Sean DeVoe from Everybody Wins he's the COO down there with, at Flowers it's Everybody Wins now not so much Flowers uh, it's the Flowers Foundation but it's Everybody Wins and we'd like to thank him and his staff. They did a, they're doing a tremendous job down there. And we'd like to thank them for being a proud sponsor of our inaugural Royal Blue Golf Tournament. Give me uh, dates and time when it's going to happen. It's October 5th and 6th, Saturday and Sunday. It's nine holes on Saturday, nine holes on Sunday. So they pay 18 rounds of golf. So what do you do if I want to be able to participate or if I want to come and see as a spectator or so you forth? You can come and, so and see. We have, we, 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 we're trying to make sure we have a seating area. Um, underneath a tent for people to come and watch some of the, the kids play. October 5th and 6th? 5th and 6th. It starts at 8.30. should be finished by 12 for the first round because the course is being utilized by other people after 12. So I think uh, nine holes of golf is generally about two and a half, maybe three hours. And it's like I say, it's basketball, so it's going to go by really quickly. Okay. Guys, come and check it out. Is there a number that they can call to find out, to find out more information or how they participate? They can go to tghsalumni.com and they get any information they want. T-G-H-S, the Government High School. Alumni. Alumni. At, at dot com, sorry, dot com. Okay. T-G-H-S-alumni.com. Find out all the information that you want to be able to do. Uh, this is a wonderful thing, man. I, I just saw that... Uh, I passed Government High, um, was it the day before yesterday, and I saw this sort of a big poster at the front Magic there at the Phoenix. gate. Magic Phoenix. The Phoenix, right? Magic Phoenix. It's book. Magic Phoenix. The, in 1925, he started out using the Phoenix. And then in the 80s, early 80s and 90s, the Government High School had a very good track team. Pauline Davis and Eldis Clark and those and so they started and a lot of blue um, blue blue boy and all of them, they had a uh, excellent track team under the guidance of Mr. Neville Wisdom, former MP and Minister of Sports, and they started saying this is GHS country. When you were, when you went to to Thomas A. Robinson track, they used to call it GHS country, so they used to be countrymen and then they started out having an excellent basketball team. And they used to call themselves the Magic. And so to accommodate the persons who were there in the 80s up to the 2000s. And then winning spree. With their, yes, with their uh, sporting pow- prowess, um, along with those who were there from 1925 until 1976, we uh, joined the two. And so, so it's the Magic Phoenix now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's none other than Paul Fernando being able to tell you all about and really giving commendation to Hitspot for what they're doing. Make sure you go and check them out. They're located on Village Road, right on Village Road, on Soldier Road, right? Yes, uh, Soldier Road. Right on Soldier Road, right there by Manny's. Opposite Burger King. Opposite Burger King. You can be able to find out exactly what's what. Get that thing taken care of. Seventy nine ninety nine. You can't and You can that. listen to Guardian Radio, Fresh Talk, Smart News. All day. All day. Hey, praise God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Fernando in the studio. And please take care of my good nephew, Mr. Avery Lightburn. I notice he's coming up next. And his lovely wife, Templar. Take, give them softball questions. Make sure they get all the information. Softball out. questions? This yes. man is a pro. He made the job, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a quick break. Going to be right back after this. The Foundation. For fast, reliable, and impactful printing services, look no further. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. We stand by our quality products that is second to none. Our affordable pricing and friendly, efficient staff makes Printmasters the ultimate choice for all your printing needs. We can deliver any type of printing services, from banners to booklets to business cards. You name it, we can print it. Let Printmasters. 
master, bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 3022361. Everything is bigger and better at Burger King Nassau. When you have a big appetite, BK has a royal deal for you. Get a flame grill, double Big King Jr. or an original chicken sandwich, plus four chicken nuggets, small fries, a drink, and a fresh baked cookie for only $9.95, including that. The royal deal was built for a big appetite, and at $9.95, including that, it's a steal of a deal. Go big and enjoy the BK flavors you love with the $9.95 royal deal at Burger King Nassau. Bahamas, are you ready? Keep the Five Alive Music Group, along with our for sales, present the best of the best. Raking, scrape, explosion, reloading. This is the biggest one day all bohemian concert of the year. Featuring KB, D Mac, Abby, Mama D, Fan Shaw, Shine 242, The Falcon, and more. Mark your calendars. It's going down November the 2nd at Super Club Races Ground. Tickets now available at BahamasETickets.com or both Beauty Shop. Back location, Jamal admission $60, VIP Skybox and Sky Ponds also available. For more info, call 394-0819 or email keep the vibe alive 242 at gmail.com. Experience the magic once again with more legends for one night only. Come party with us November 2nd and best of the best. Break and scrape explosion reloading. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio, Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect. We are here with none other than MST Bar being able to talk to us about the rebar, the fiber rebar. Got everything going on from modern construction to all the way from art development and art construction. I got my good, decent friend in the house, Avery Lightborn. He's in here with his wife. His wife, he wants us to know that she's in here, but I can tell you. Okay, so we ain't gonna say nothing. She she's not really here, but we can see you. Right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again, Harold. Uh, thank you, Bahamas, for listening in, and I appreciate your show, um, Howard. I'd like to say good day to all of the people who have been in support of this product, who have been support of the movement that is going on, and uh, my lovely wife is here, like you said, and um, I'm just happy and excited about the future and what the future holds and what um, our contribution is gonna be. Um, I, I could say to the world for promoting these products that are going to benefit the generations. That's what I'm really, really excited about. And then hopefully I can make some money because I think right now, as it stands, I am the scape, you know, with a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know like it happens sacri- like that. Do you? Huh? you know, it happens like that, right? Yeah. It happens like that. You know, the first person out the gate yeah. always got to take the blows yeah, and they got to make the modifications and people got to get get things done. But, oh. the, but time is the second one. Hey, uh, like, yeah. Well, I hope. I hope. That's where the money starts. Coming. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and how it really and truly, we have, we have done a lot of work. It's been two years promoting these products, uh, FRP Rebar. And um, it has been a lot of hiccups getting in a new product, especially in a field where you're not very well-versed when it comes to engineering and architects. So I depended on the industry and all of the stakeholders in the industry to really support this and made sure that I was in the right direction. And I could say that I've gotten the best in the business to really certify and got these products approved here in the Bahamas for the Bahamian people to use because it's a, it's a necessity. I am passionate about what it could do for us. I see the benefits of it financially and, um, I mean, just long-term, just comfort, peace of mind. You know what it is when you are sitting home and you're watching a crack in your wall from a steel that is rusting out corroded because of our salty, our salty climate. 
And then when you have to repair that, you have to paint that up in nine. Say it can stop. You may get a couple of months, maybe a year out if you have a good person doing it. Maybe a couple of years if you got really good people doing it. But people are suffering out there with their investments. And they cannot live the peace of mind type of life that they want because all of their pension money or retirement money going towards repairing the structure that they say, this is where I want to be. Um, um, this is where I want to die. Lay to rest. Right here, um, I want to retire. You know, especially yeah. as, as I sit here and I listen to you and I think about uh, the structure and the sort of the idea of how things are happening, I sit there and I think to myself, I said, man, listen to me. Uh, what about those persons in Grand Bahama who has had salt damage, water damage in their house? What about those persons in other spaces who have, uh, you know, the house swelling and so forth and so on? You know, it'll be a very good idea to ensure that you have the proper infrastructure. No, I'm serious. When you're dealing with things like this in low-lying areas. Well, Howard, this is good for the world because the world is going in this direction. And um, the Bahamas is no exception. We we will be um, um, following in the footsteps of the rest of the world when it comes to certain things. There's no, there, It's not by chance that we are touted for the best building code in the region, right? In the Caribbean. There's no, there's, 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 there's uh, a reason for that. We have had engineers who are skeptical. We have engineers who do do their research, who do travel, and they find products that are the best for our climate, considering hurricanes and everything else, um, air, um, moisture and everything else. But the one thing I think that they did not crack the code on, or maybe was hesitant to crack the code on, was the same thing of corrosion of steel. They have gotten the they have gotten the, the paint that you paint on the steel when 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 it's corroding. Um, people building out of pocket. They have spent more money on um, repairing and trying to stop the the rust and corrosion from deteriorating their building before they finish building. They're spending money on repairs. This is a, a epidemic in, in, our, in our country right now. And you could ask anybody that is building out of pocket. They are going countless times. I see a guy building an apartment. He came to me crying and said, I'm not doing it anymore. He cut out all of the columns. And this is a recent one. He cut out the columns out of his apartment building. No rent being collected as yet. Just finished, just building it. And he cut out all of the columns and said, I just got to do this one time. It doesn't make sense for the amount of times that I've repaired it. And so I encourage anybody that is building new construction to get into these products because they work. Um, I have had a lot of persons that have asked me the credibility behind this, right? And so, like I said, two years. We have been researching. I've carried engineers, architects, and contractors on this journey with me who understand these products. They were skeptical, but the research shows, and they have spoken with the persons that are involved with the manufacturing of these products, right, from MST Bar. And if you want to check it out, you can go to mstrebar.com. That's the products that I'm promoting, mstrebar.com. Somebody just texted me and says, Howard, this fiber sounds really good, but could it take the pressure like steel? I need to know. Well, there's different types of pressure. You're talking about tinsel, tinsel strain, right? It's three times, it's two and a half times stronger than steel. That's the tinsel strain. All right, compression strain, it's compression tested, um, better than steel. When it comes to the bonding of the concrete onto the fiber, it's better than steel. When you talk about ductility, right, that's probably where ductility and shear strength. So ductility is measured based on like the volcanic, you know, volcanic, you know, the volcano ridden countries where they have a lot of volcanoes and stuff. So they, they, they found that that steel um, performs better. And, and when you talk about shear strain, shear strain is when you're hitting it. So of course, if you're hitting the steel, steel, um, um, you, you have a long time before you could really damage that steel. But you're not hitting this product. This product is for reinforcement to go inside of concrete to reinforce a structure. This is not going to be hit on like steel. So when it comes to performance in this application, because you have to look at applications. There's different applications. We don't do uh, I-beams in this. They haven't reached the I-beams yet. Um, steel is still the go-to for I-beam. So steel still has its place in our construction based on the application. What we're saying is that Fiber reinforcement polymers, when it comes to rebar in your building, 
we don't go up 10 stories at every building. We only go up over five stories with some major buildings, right? Unless you're a hotel or something mm -hmm. else like mm -hmm. that. And so based on our climate, based on our building code, based on the structures that we're building, we have a no-brainer here. MST Rebar is it, the way to go. It's the way to go. MST Rebar mm -hmm. is tested, right? It's manufactured in Canada. Um, shout outs to uh, my friend Borna and those down there listening in now, the Canadian uh, connection. And... Um, those are, they have been shipping stuff through North America. Truckloads go through North America. Right now, there's almost a backup for North America, for orders in America from Canada because it's so, uh, lightweight that you could pile it up on trucks and because it's cheaper to ship, you could put it in containers. You could do so much more with it, um, when it comes to the cost savings and, and just working with it. So people ask me, say, so price comparison. Is it cheaper than steel? Well, we could do that. We could do that price comparison, and, and it has been done. Long years ago, it has been done. When you look at the, workmanship, the workability of steel versus fiber, hands down, the labor alone will save you. When you look at tra uh, transporting, transporting alone, it's lighter. It's going to save you. When you look at long-term effects, the corrosion and stuff that we have to deal with, the cracks in your, your buildings, Long term, last forever. So you're talking a lifetime product. It's a no-brainer. And I en encourage anybody who's skeptical, all they have to do is do the research. Go on YouTube. Look for FRP, fiber reinforcement polymers. Go on that. You got Check a clip. Out. You got a clip. I want to be able to play that clip right now. Persons can be able to hear that clip. Is that okay? Yeah. I, well, yeah. The guys told me it was okay to publish it. So, yeah. yeah. These are, these right. are persons here in the Bahamas, in the Luthra, and Nassau, and around. Okay. okay. So, guys, listen to this clip. You can be able to listen to, uh, you know, the strength of this particular idea and whatnot and being able to hear it locally. Let me see if I can be able to play that clip right now with my, with my producer. Go ahead. They, they built that house. Uh, the edge of it was on uh, on the cesspit. Same thing, steel busted out columns, um, and I had to do a counter lever. You see how I went over that? I had to do a counter lever over that to pick up the load back, and I undercut underneath the rock in the back, let the cement pour underneath too. We literally took out all the beams, all the columns of the house. We're smoothing it now. And you can see here, that's all fiberglass rebar, so no more rust, no more spalling. No doubt, anyone that has principles in their work standard and wanting a name for themselves in this industry, construction industry, would never build a building without this product. Yeah, that's powerful. That's excellent, man. I, I love to be able to hear that and this kind of a commitment that persons are making. Uh, it's local now. There ain't nobody paying these people to say this. This ain't, no, th no. This ain't no affiliation. This is just being able to identify the product, how it's strong, how it's durable, how it can be able to do all these things that need to be done, and they're using this particular product. Talk how to me about how it. they are. Um, the contractors are now going where they were using galvanized for everything, especially on um, in Spanish wells. They have some guys down there using pure galvanized steel. They work with this product, one project, one project, and when they started, they told every client, that was requesting it. They re they go. They went and recommended it, and the clients were sold. So the contractors, even though they have to follow the drawings, and that's not their job to really go and um, 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 agitate the client to change if they already spec for a certain thing. It's out of courtesy if you have a better product um, to to just recommend if you have something better and it's going to save your client some monies or it's going to basically put your client in a better position. So my thing is. Down there, um, they're using pure fiber for anything, anything that they're building, and they're not taking jobs now that would that persons want to use steel with the applications that fiber can do. All right. So, like I said, the steel is not out of our DNA in construction. Just for this application, this application is one that you do not have to go that direction. You do not have to worry about painting or coating your 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 reinforcement anymore. For the for longevity. So all come the same color green. I think I see you brought me one that was green the other day. Yeah, so what they did was they painted some um, blue, 
like they give a color a dye for something different no that is color coded because it's non-structural so okay. going vertical and and that's because they want to protect the industry also it's a part of protecting the industry from you misusing so it's very easy to use it gives you the instructions the labels on it for the numbers of the type and the size it is so that one what i showed you was for struck meaning it's for for slabs so they put it on the flooring road seawall sidewalks you could use it for that but when you talk about structural you're talking more going up vertical and if they're going on balconies and stuff like that you want to make sure that you're getting the right um the right sizes of bars and the engineers will be able to is there to spec that for you is there consultancy for persons who are kind of skeptics uh because i know that we're doing a great deal of consultancy on air and yeah. a lot of persons are really being able to hear more about this and being able to put is there a space that they can test the product to identify this? Yes, we have um, we have um, our friends in Canada that are speed dial. The world is small, you know. We could get to somebody right away. This ain't no big, far-reaching thing. These, no, no more. Not no more. The no. world is like right there at your fingertips all the time. And so information for engineers that I can't answer. I'm not an engineer. Information for engineers are easily answered. I've had persons that had... Um, Real complex um, drawings and structural uh, drawings that they, they, they sent to me and wanted me to read. And I just patched them on right into the factory so that they can see the applications and have exactly what they need specced in or tell them exactly what they need on the table. And they were able to get that done. And they were able to get it done. I have a container on the way now. It should be uh, my Freeport people. It's going to be there on the 28th, but they're clearing on the 2nd. I just want to let them know that. Mm -hmm. But I have containers going into Freeport now for, for major, major, major construction. And we have more that's going to go down there. And um, once you use the product, as a contractor, as a person dealing with engineering, once you experience the product, you'll see that there's no reason to go back to what you were using before. You're talking pools and everything else. So, so how we are going to protect the market is we want to make sure that everybody gets the information. The FRP Institute for Civil Infrastructure, Mr. Richard Kaluski, he's employed or contracted by the DOT, Department of Transport. He is the one that vets all manufacturers of fiber reinforced polymers or these structures, rebars, fiber reinforced rebars for the U.S. and Canada. The FRP Institute for Civil Infrastructure makes sure that they go and they get a report, just like how you vet all of the like price control or anything else like that. So his organization does this, where they go around and they test the bar. They have their testing measures for the bar, making sure that it's approved to go to market so that they avoid the mishaps, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so this is what is happening now in the U.S. because now they're going towards everything fiber, refurbishing everything with fiber because they see the results. So that's why there's a backup in North America sending tons of product, um, sending tons of product from Canada. And so they're protecting this. So the FRP Institute for Civil Infrastructure, Richard Kaluski, was also here in the Bahamas before we launched this. And they met with, um, and also he brought with him one of the best manufacturers or the best manufacturer in the world in MST Bar, right? So he brought these guys because they were the best in the industry. And the Bahamas is somewhere where they... They would they know the corrosion and everything that is taking place in the Bahamas. But I see you're talking about corrosion, but we also we are really in a hurricane alley. And so persons want to know whether or not this can uh, you know withstand or resist some of the hurricane winds, 150 miles an hour winds, of course. so forth and so on. So we still have the kind of a strength that we're looking for. Of course. And and when it comes to that the application that I'm talking about. Um, let's look at it now. We know that the earth shifts. We know that when it comes to the hurricane and the winds, the buildings move. Well, when a building moves and you have steel in it, the steel does not have good memory. That's where it flex back. When you have a building that is moving with the earth moving and any kind of movement with heavy winds and stuff like that, you're looking at a product that has memory that moves with the concrete. So when you talk about the, the retention and all of that different stuff, all of the scientific stuff about it, all tested for. And you can check the technical data on this stuff. Like I said, the engineers from the Ministry of Works and the private sector were in the seminars that we've had over the summers to see these products and to see the data on them. And that's what is important. Like, no engineer in their right mind would go ahead and put their self on the line for this product, right? And I've had one of the best in the industry, in the industry. looked at this, submitted it to the Ministry of Works, 
and the Ministry of Works looked at it. They asked more for the technical data from the factory. The factory was involved with our ministry. They were involved with the factory also does the testing. It's also a testing facility for all of the different tests, um, um, tests on this. So when it comes to hurricane, let's also look at this. Flooding, right? Flooding is our main situation with hurricane. Hurricane will blow off a roof. You don't see buildings getting crumbled down no. so much with hurricane or a hurricane yeah. breaches yeah. knock the building yeah. down. Yeah. That means that the building probably ain't had no reinforcement in it at all and no cement probably. But no buildings you see when it comes to uh, hurricanes I've been through. Many of them in Elutra, Hurricane Andrew, I've been around from Hurricane Josephine. You understand? But we never saw buildings just wiped out, concrete structures wiped out. We see the roofs come off. But when you talk about flooding and the moisture, that getting inside your building now, and now that starts the corrosion. Because when moisture gets into that concrete, that's when the swelling of that rebar starts, and that's when everything starts to bust out. So, so that, is, that is where it performs best with our kids. I think you've really made uh, a believer a lot of persons, because I'm, I'm hearing people on the streets talk about it. People are calling me talking about the fiber rebar, the MST bar, and being able to do those things. And so uh, for all those persons who are teetering the fence and want to be able to jump over, give me some names, I'm sorry, give me some numbers, some information, how you can be able to reach out and really be a part of what's going on with this revolution. Well, you can email us at artbahamas at gmail.com. You can email and send in a request to get some information. Uh, you can check us out at frpbahamas.com. That's our website, frpbahamas.com. Uh, you could also contact us at 822-9527, 822-9527. You could call or text, or you can call us at the office at 603-4506. We're located in Palmdale in the Dugard Plaza second floor. I can never remember the Dugard Plaza. Dugard Plaza. The Dugard Plaza. Yes, right, yes, right, second right. floor. So that's 603-4506. You ask for Miss Lang. She'll be able to help you with any information. If you want to talk to me, you can always reach me. Like I said, she could find me at any time, at any point. Um, no job is too big. No job is too small. We believe that in this industry now, we can supply the market in the Bahamas with whatever applications with rebar is needed. I w I'm waiting for you to be able to come back and tell me about a workshop that you got for all those persons who are in uh, the various fields within construction that want to yeah. be able to test this and see this uh, in real real time. Well, um, you have a great show that's coming on later called Nailed It. Uh, Nailed It with the Bahamas Contractors Association. Put a plug in for them for doing what they're doing and educating the general public on construction and how it should be and um, also the tiers and the criteria. But they should they should be on um, this evening. And what, I, what I'm proposing to do is to come on the show at one point and I'm going to bring on uh, Mr. Richard Kraluski, because he's from the FRP Institute for Civil Infrastructure. He's the person that can educate the engineers and the architects. I guess they, they work tandem in, in tandem, and he can educate that, and I'll make it open. We're trying to do something. I don't know if it's going to happen before the Christmas, because we're trying to roll out our Christmas stock now to be able to get those res New Year's resolutions for, for, for 2024. We want to make sure we have some good deals for the Bahamian public. But education, you can check out at um, um, Art, uh, uh, what is the, um, at Art Development BFRP, right? Art Development BFRP. You can check us out on Facebook and um, our Instagram page. And, and we have a lot of information going out, testimonials. We have um, information when it comes to if you want the technical data on this stuff, send us your email. We can sec send you technical data sheets. We can send you updates on what's happening in the industry. And like I said, the world is small. If you just go on, what is the benefits of fiber reinforced polymer? Everything will, pop up. Everything will pop up right there. And you could go into deeper searches. You could find out who are the manufacturers of fiber reinforced polymers. And we are now the sweetheart, sweetheart stage of of these fibers coming in, or honeymoon stage of, of yeah. What's she never been in the sweetheart phase. <laughs> <laughs> she want to know. You want to know. Guys, it's Avery Lightborn being able to be here with us and talk to us about all these things. You got to check out MST Rebar. Got all the information in there. You can give them a call at 822-9527, 822-9527, or hit them up 603-4506, 603-4506. 
uh, ARTBahamas at gmail.com. All the information is Avery Lightborn in the studio with us today. My brother, you are doing an excellent job. Continue to do that. We're open here to be Thank able to you, always bro. talk about this revolution and how things are happening in this space. Yeah, but I just want them to be educated. Don't go and just jump on any fibers. Check out the fiber. Make sure that it's approved. You got to have a lot of stuff coming out there now that it's approved. And we just want to be safe and protect the industry. Excellent. MST Bar is the best in the world. If you have anything other than MST Bar, let them check it out. You need to check it out because they're going to come through. Right. Excellent, guys. Mm-hmm. Quick break. Going to be right back after this. Still puts the gap protection from the cement But the sand of the use of salt in it And then over time we start the rotting And just like a flower wall crack open hey, No steel, no big deal Fibery bar is better than steel hey. For more information on FRP Concrete Reinforcement Products Call our development today at 603-4506 Or 822-9527 Or visit our Facebook and IG page At our development BF RP. Listen, say goodbye to Russ and our crack of water. Call now. No steel, no big deal. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. I'm Leonard Sands. And I'm Debbie Deal. And you know us from the Contractors Association. We're excited to talk about our new show coming to Guardian Radio called Nailed It. We are going to be on Thursday nights between 6.30 and 7.30. So we're very happy to invite everyone to listen into our shows as we talk about construction, design-related things also. If you are a subcontractor, if you're planning on building a home or renovating, you need to be a part of this show and tune in. Nailed It. Preparing Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. right here on Guardian Radio 96.9. Bonneville Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique, still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. When you jump in your Japanese import and you turn the radio on, all you hear is... For the month of September, the HitSpot will install a band extender in your Japanese import for the discounted rate of only $79.99, that included. Get your band expander installed today at the HitSpot and listen to Star 106.5. Plus, get fresh news and smart talk on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Always on the go? Miss the show? You can now listen to Guardian Radio talk shows anytime, anywhere on Spotify and YouTube by searching Guardian Radio 96.9 FM or by entering the name of your favorite show. You can also listen by logging on to GuardianTalkRadio.com and clicking on the podcast tab. Guardian Radio, continuing to provide you with fresh news and smart talk anywhere, anytime, all day. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The foundation. 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 And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant in your company, the foundation 
Oh man, y'all got information overload today. I know everybody's in here talking to us about all these things and really telling us where they are with their stuff. I want to be able to thank all of them for being able to sit here with us and have good conversation. I'm grateful to you. And I want to commend you and really encourage you to keep pushing and keep on keeping on. Uh, first, first session out the gate today, Konkale Konkala being able to talk to us about um, World Cleanup Day. I'm being able to find out about those things. I got a shout out to Atlantis, got a shout out to the Department of Environmental Health Services, got a shout out to Minister uh, Vaughn Miller for being able to take on those things and be able to make some things happen, moving in those directions. Got a shout out to good, those good, decent people. I got a shout out to Dave Williams and also Shelton Burrows for being able to be here. Ke and uh, Keith Cox in your stead, they're always talking about these things. And um, talking about this set of an idea for International Day of the Boy. The, the man child, the men child, right? And then they're talking about the International Men's Day that they got going on on the 29th. On the 29th of uh, September, they got an event going on. They want you to be able to participate in that and be able to really move and, and make some things happen with that. You can be able to give Keith Cox a good call. Um, I'm sorry, um, Dave Williams, a good call. His number is 433-6917, 433-6917. They got the March Rally from Christie Park riding right around. It's important that you do that. Find out more information. Uh, Paul came in the studio being able to talk about the government hiring. If you're just tuning in, find out more information about that. You can call the studio, 302-2300, uh, and just ask for Paul. Paul will be more than happy to assist you. Uh, about any of the information going on with the government high October 5th and 6th, uh, they got some things going on down there, and um, uh, for the nine hole route, uh, nine hole golf. So they want to be able to thank um, uh, Flowers. Everybody wins. All the information from there, and all those persons that continue to be able to support him in those areas. So we want to thank you also, and then definitely we want to be able to talk to you about the rebar. Now this is this is not a listen. I sit down daily. Okay, so so maybe you don't know this, right? Maybe you don't know this. Maybe you know this from my language, or you don't necessarily know that there's applications towards conservation. So I made significant contributions and uh, strides towards this idea of being able to reform the traditional approach of how things are being done. Now, this is not to diminish the fact that the way that things were done was horrible. No. There is a more conservative way that things can be done. As we look around what's happening from... A pollution standpoint, as we look around for sustainability, as we look around for these particular things, we have enough information, we have enough case studies that indicate that we need to take a different avenue. And so I want to always encourage persons like Avery, I want to always encourage persons like Konkale, Konkala, I want to always encourage persons like D uh, Dave Williams and Keith Cox in their particular capacity, because in some level, this is talking about modifying pivot in preparation for the future that we envision. And so I myself have always been looking for ways that I can be able to support a new perspective, a new approach to being able to do these things that we've done on a consistent basis in our society. We cannot sustain our country by doing things the same way and not recognizing that things are depleting. It's depleting, man. We ain't got the money. We ain't got the money. There's no sustainability in these particular things. You ain't got no bunch of money to buy no house. When your grandmother buy a house, she may have spent $15,000, $28,000. She may have spent these things. Huh? Her house cost the same thing as a Chrysler at the time. And she was able to do that. And there were significant contributions from the community. Things have changed significantly in our country. Significantly. The property that you purchase the home that you develop, so forth and so on. you got to take all of these things into account as you pursue preservation. So I must commend these guys for being able to do that. And I must be able to commend all those persons who are, you got to keep your eyes peeled for innovation. Can I say that to you? you got to keep your eyes peeled for innovation. I think so many persons are asleep as it relates to the business of this country by being able to look at one stead and only looking through the eyes or through the lens of politics and not understanding that there's opportunity for expansion elsewhere. That's why we come, uh, commend Konkale Konkala because he recognized that there was a need and he met that need in terms of being able to contribute. Now, you don't get fanfare for these things. Ain't nobody can be able to kind of put a, a, a lay around your neck and hoist you on their shoulders and say, oh my God, he moved the derelict vehicle. You're not going to get these kind of a... 
There's not going to be celebration like that. However, you know that this is something that's bothering you and you're alleviated after you can be able to contribute to see transformation in this area. I think that this is what innovation is about. I think the gratification that you get may not necessarily always be money. Talk to me. But the gratification of knowing that you contributed and you did your part to being able to transform an environment for growth, development, and sustainability, it is a wonderful feeling. You got to be able to do that. But Howard Fiedens is don't pay bills. Calm down. That thing will come. Everything that you do, do it unto the Father. Do it as you do it unto God. And know that your commitment and service will render you a reward. I just want to be decent with you. You know I got to say this to you. I just want to be decent. Do what you got to do to change this country right where you are. Let's be decent. Do what you have to do to change this country right where we are. And every one of our small contributions could be able to lead to the massive transformation that we look for in our community. i got to shout out to all those persons. got to be able to say that to you guys. Uh, I'm grateful to be in this kind of a space with you. I was hoping to see uh, Ian. I'm sure he can call me back and say he's here doing something or whatever the, the case may be. i got to tell you all, before we get out of here, i got to tell you all about my good, decent friend, Chantel, uh, over at um, Coco Plum Bistro. They got everything available for you. Now, they are on a modified, uh, almost like a go slow, just modified for the season. Now, they're not open on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but they're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? So they're not open on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is only for the season. They're not open in these particular times, just a short period of time as they go through these things. And they've made significant modifications as it relates to the menu chance of choices for you guys. So if when you get there, you can be able to see that they're closed and then they're open, right? So let's just be able to do this. I can tell you this Coco Plum Bistro from September 16th to October 6th, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're going to be closed. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're going to be open from 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night, right? So this is the... Dining, lunch and dinner, it's got a weekend brunch and the office lunch takeout. All these things are available for you from 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. over at Coco Plum Bistro. This is on the Western Road. And you can give them a call at 677-6776 or check them out on opentable.com. Right there on the Western Road as you head towards Life at Key on the right-hand side of the Green Plaza, you can find them. Coco Plum Bistro, I tell you, it's a beautiful environment, great place to break bread. Uh, if you're going out on one of these dates, I don't know if y'all just go on dates no more. When you're cutting up with people, you, my, my God, you just can't get them a chicken in the bag. Oh, well, this is a decent woman. Hey, man, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't introduce yourself to Mr. Brown. Good afternoon, Mr. Brown. How you doing? Yes, I come for Keisha. Yes, sir. We can go to... Yeah, yeah, do, do it with decency. My God, you met the woman in the laundromat when you were, you single, she single, you're in the laundromat, folding up clothes together, you didn't wink at her. You can't carry her for chicken all the time. Go down there to Coco Plum Bistro and have a beautiful time. And for those persons having good breakfast, I always tell you on Saturday mornings, on the weekends, more specifically, they have great, 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 great breakfast down there at Garden of the Eden. Ask for my good friend Ephraim Jones. Mr. Jones got everything available for you when you go down there to uh, right across from Elizabeth Estates. Uh, when you go to, oh God, why do I keep forgetting um, um, some wood, right? Eastwood. I keep forgetting that. Why do I keep forgetting that? Eastwood, right? You hear him yell at me? Eastwood! <laughs> Go up to Eastwood right there to Tulip. You're going to take a left by Tulip right there around the corner. You could be able to see Garden of Eden. My boy, uh, they could take good care of you, man. Listen to me. The best stew fish, the best stew conch on the island, and the Johnny bread is to die for. My daughter went there one day. She said, Daddy, can I just get, uh, can I get, uh, the wings by itself and Johnny Bread. I said, baby, what the hell are you doing? She loved this thing, right? Can I carry an extra one home to just drink with my tea? She loved this thing, and we all do. It's a beautiful environment, great food. You got to go down there. Uh, check them out, Garden of Eden, and uh, check out my good friend Ephraim Jones. He'd be more than happy to assist you in those areas. Well, guys, that's the show today. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about a few things. I got everything available for you. I got to remind you one more time. Check me out, thefoundation242.com, thefoundation242.com, and take the poll. Take the poll. 
Tell me about your MP. Tell me about the position. I've had some persons already tried that out, checking it out. Take the poll, the foundation242.com. No matter where you are, if you can hear me far and wide, take the poll. For the month of October, 